Wahawks, today is Monday, September 25th, B-Day. Regular schedule, and this week is Banned Books Week in the LRC. Did you know that the Harry Potter series ranks as the most challenged set of books since the year 2000? There have been over 3,000 challenges against Harry Potter and his friends. I think that you'd be surprised at, other, at how many other books have been challenged by people throughout the years. But before we get into all that, let's share the announcements. Okay, first up, VPA reminder. Your last chance to audition to be in this year's cast production of Annie is on Tuesday and Thursday in the auditorium from 2.30 to 4.30 p.m. All information necessary to audition is located on the VPA board across from the auditorium. The cast list will be posted at 2.30 on Friday, September 29th, on the VPA board. Questions? Contact Ms. Schumacher or Ms. Schramm. Here's a WTV update. If you turned in an application for WTV, please check your school email for the WTV schedule. If you turned in an application on time but did not receive a schedule, please see Mrs. Schumacher or Mrs. Mozina ASAP. Please report to room 5 at 7.10 on days you are scheduled to be on crew or anchor. If you cannot make it during your scheduled time or if you have questions, please contact Ms. Schumacher or Ms. Mozina. If you are a member of the Wahawk Music Department, your polo, shirt, and order forms and money are due to Ms. Steckline in the office by the end of today. As Wahawks, we have responsibility to be a good community member and take care of each other, our learning environment, and our school property. This is particularly important in the cafeteria. Please be sure to be aware when dumping your trays that you do not throw out your silverware or plates. We've lost a considerable number of these this year, and, and so we're asking for your help as we move through the year, forward through this year. I considered my use of silverware instead of plastic to be a privilege, and I don't want that privilege to be taken away. The same also goes for gum. A few years ago, students were not allowed to chew gum, and the student, count, and student council worked very hard to convince the administration that the student body could handle chewing gum. Lately, Gum has been found on floors, under the serving line in the cafeteria, and on lunch trays. This is unacceptable. And if it continues, we may lose the privilege of chewing gum on the premises. Please don't be the one who ruins it for the whole... When we all take pride in our school, we receive the benefits our school has to offer. We don't have any birthdays today, but we do need to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So tell me, how does a book get banned in, get on the banned book list? That's a great, crush, great question. <coughs> Before the book becomes banned, someone must challenge it first. The American Library Association defines a challenge as an attempt to remove or restrict materials based on, upon an, on the objections on a person or, or a group. The successful challenge results in a ban, so make sure to check out the banned books, week, banned books in the LRC this week and celebrate those book whose, books who raise some eyebrows and some great ideas too. This leads me to the thought of the day, which is, books and ideas are the most effect effective weapons against intolerance and ignorance. Enjoy your banned books today, Wash!